Let's take a look at creating a cool pop-up, sort of like um, you'd find on like a Netflix website or something like that, that you can create from an InDesign file if you save as a PDF, if you export as PDF. So you guys are going to see here that I've got a PDF I've created directly from InDesign. All the functionality in here was done in InDesign, and I just exported, and here I am in Acrobat just showing and hiding my tooltip. So there's tons of stuff you guys can do here, lots of stuff. Um, so let me go to, get over to InDesign, rather, and we can do this from InDesign CS5 on, so CS5, CS5.5. And the way we do it is we actually work with buttons. There's a couple of ways, I should say, to be honest, but uh, the big way is to use buttons. So here's what we wind up doing. I take the content that I wanted to hide and show, like as, in, let's say, a tooltip, and I can group it together. I put it all together and kind of group it, and then we turn it into a button. So I've got a picture here I, I placed, this little picture, pretty simple. I created an Illustrator with a drop shadow, and it's just an Illustrator file I placed directly within InDesign. You guys can also use pings and other you know, file formats, whatever you want. I've got a little bit of text. I'm just going to kind of slap this here. Now, you can make this as pretty or whatever as you want to. I've got a picture here that I just put a little text wrap on, and I'll just kind of hang it off the side just to show you guys. There's lots of cool stuff you can do here. Um, and then let me open up the text frame. There we go. Now what I'll do is I'll select all of these just by shift clicking and I'll group them together just so that they stay together. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. Position it where I want it. So when we show it, and I gotta be careful you guys, if you have a button hovering right here and you try and show a button, you don't wanna do a lot of overlap because it's gonna stutter step and act kinda weird. So this is kind of a different thing with Acrobat. But um, So you wanna put it, I'm gonna line it up, try to line it up at the top here a little bit. Anyway, whatever. Stupid smart guides. Okay. Now, with it selected, I'm going to go over to the right and find the buttons panel. And you guys can go up top and say interactive or choose interactive for PDF. That'll show the buttons panel. What I can then do is I don't really need to do anything to this object. I just need to turn it into a button and hide it. So at the buttons panel at the very bottom, I'll click on the button there. It says convert object to a button. Now you can do that a bunch of ways. And we'll just choose hidden until trigger. So go ahead and select that and that should hide it. That's it. So I know it'll show in InDesign, but it'll hide when we get to, to Acrobat. Don't worry, to the PDF. Then we go to the trigger object. This is called the trigger object, which is the button that's going to show that thing. Come over to the buttons panel. I usually like to just click on the button convert object. You can also add the action right now, but I'll click convert object to a button. It's now a button. You can tell because it's dotted line. I'll then come up here, and we want to do rollover. So instead of choosing on release here, I'm going to make sure it says on rollover. We want to add an action. So I'll click on add action, and we'll choose show hide buttons. It'll show us the buttons that we have available. Now let me pull this out so it doesn't keep stutter stepping. The buttons we have available, and you probably should name these. Like you guys can see there's a name up here. I'll call this um, trigger, you know, trigger one, whatever you want to do. It should be changing down here. Uh, so if I choose rollover, let's see, there we go. So the trigger you'll see is an X next to it. It lists all the buttons on this page. Okay, so if there's an X next to it, that means ignore it. You'll see right there. Button 21 is this guy. So what we want to do is say, okay, take that, and that's why we name them because they get kind of tricky later on. Select it in the list. Come down here and say we are going to show it. So a little eye will show up there. Okay, so that's on rollover on this guy. Roll off. What we're going to do is come up here. We're going to add another one here. So we're going to go to event on roll off. You'll see there's no more actions here because it's a different event. Click the plus. Show hide buttons. You'll see the buttons listed again. I'm going to leave the trigger alone. Go to button 21 and hide it. There we go. So it's selected. I click hide. And there we go. All right. Let's go check it out. So I'll go to file export. I'll probably save all this, of course. I'll save it out on my desktop. And I'll call this, you know, B or intro or whatever I want to do. In InDesign CS5 or 5.5, make sure you choose Adobe PDF Interactive just because it does everything for you automatically. You could do print, but there's a few things you got to check. Click Save. It'll go out and say, all right, what do you want to do? View it. Let's make sure we do that. And for buttons and media, make sure it says Include All. I'll click OK. I don't really care. I don't really care. I should care, I know. <laughs> and there we go. So you guys can see, pretty simply. 
Now, I've tried to put video in there, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. You are going to find limitations. There are things you just can't do on a pop-up like this, but it's really kind of neat. I mean, you could tons of cool stuff you can get done. You can put transparencies on that image. You can, you know, shadows, effects, all different types of things on the actual pop-up object. But there you go. Really simple way to make a pop-up on rollover when you create a PDF from InDesign.